Winter is breathing its final gasp here in the Northeast. What is the one probably most overlooked tool that people forget to carry with them of a winter, whether they drive cars or trucks? Stay tuned to today's 3 Minute Thursday and find out. Hey everyone, it's Tom Captain Kirk from Road Tested Living. Most of us would not think of going out without a winter, without a few basic emergency supplies, whether it be a, a flashlight, whether it's in our phone or a separate one like this beacon flashlight from Tough Tested, some food, water, maybe some warm clothes or a spare pair of boots. Yet, we often go out without one simple tool that can make life a lot easier of a winter, and that's a snow shovel. Now, I know they can be big and bulky, but they make small collapsible ones. You've got the military folding shovels. There's a bunch of different styles and varieties, and they can come in for so many different purposes. I know growing up as a kid in upstate New York, most everyone I knew, we'd go around with a snow shovel in our vehicles. We might get stuck someplace, need to dig out a tire to throw down some salt or kitty litter. We may run into a situation where we park uh, and get plowed in, or it snows so much overnight we just got to, you know, dig out the vehicle a little bit, and it'll just make life a lot easier rather than trying to batter into a snowbank and to get the car stuck and now have a real big mess to get out of and maybe have to call a tow truck. So snow shovels can be a really handy thing. With almost 12, 13 years of driving truck, I've found it comes in handy not just for snow situations, but I've used it to help clean up debris from different things. If I sweep out a trailer, it's just a quick, easy way to clean up, leave the area a little bit neater than I found it, and it's just a handy way to deal with some stuff. A lot of customers will complain. They don't want you sweeping out on property, but as soon as they see you're ready to clean up the mess, most of them have had no problem with it. I've had situations where I'm at a rest area getting ready to leave and there's a driver stuck and we've grabbed a couple of the snow shovels that I had and dug them out so we, everybody could get out because he was blocking the exit ramp and no one could get out until he got moved and rather than call and wait for a tow truck for however long that would take, we just dug them out, all went on down our way. One year, a couple of years ago, I had a situation where I was down in Maryland on my way to D.C. and stopped because of bad weather. And that next morning, a bunch of us were out during the, one of the breaks and the storms, and I grabbed my shovel and kind of cleaned out around my truck to make it easier to get in and out of and to get out when it finally was there without so much snow in front of me. And a few drivers asked to borrow it, and I did. All of a sudden, we hear this snap, and there's a driver with this hangdog look on his face holding my shovel that was now in two pieces in his hands. And we just kind of laughed about it, and it was no big deal. And wouldn't you know, at the very next day, I went to one of our drop yards, and the guy who was supposed to plow it hadn't been there and it wasn't plowed out yet so I had to go buy a new snow shovel in order to, to dig out the driveway enough so I could get the truck and trailer in and I've just had enough of those experience over years to just discover a snow shovel can be handy and it doesn't have to like I said be a great big snow shovel uh, and I actually keep mine on the back of my truck it can be a small collapsible military shovel or some other shovel that works for you so what do you carry in your vehicles of a winter that helps make you a little bit safer and your life easier? Comment down below, like and share this with friends if you found it useful. I'd also like to thank my good friends at Tough Tested for all their support. Uh, it's been tremendously helpful over the years, thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below or email roadtestedliving at gmail.com. Anyways everyone, thanks so much. This is Captain Kirk. Be safe and live well out there on the road.